vector addition. For the vectors A and B in figure, so A has a magnitude 8 meters pointing in a minus J hat direction, and B has a magnitude 15 meters, makes an angle 30 degrees with respect to positive Y axis. Uh, use a scale drawing to find the magnitude and direction of the vector sum A plus B and the vector difference A minus B. Use your answers to find the magnitude and direction of minus A minus B and B minus A. Now, if we have a drawing of A plus B, we can use head to tail method. So here is vector A with magnitude 8 meters. Here is vector B with magnitude uh, 15 meters, making an angle 30 degrees with respect to the positive y-axis. And you can see if we uh, draw them head to tail, we obtain uh, this vector A plus uh, B. So from the uh, head of vector A to the tip of vector B. And um, in order to figure out what is the magnitude of this vector and what is the angle alpha it makes with respect to the positive x-axis, we could use the components of these uh, vectors. Uh, so if it's not a, a scale drawing, then we, we could determine by looking at the x component of vector b, which is uh, the magnitude of vector b times sine 30, sine of the angle it makes with positive y-axis. So this would be 15.0 meters multiplied with one half. So that would give us 7.5 meters and as for the y component of vector b we would have magnitude multiplied by cosine 30 so that would give us 15.0 times 0 0.866 which is square root 3 over 2 and that gives us roughly 13.0 meters now going back to our drawing, you can see that the x component is 7.5, y component is 13. Because A already has a magnitude of 8 here, we have 5 left uh, for the A plus B projection onto the y-axis. So this is 7.5, this is 5, this is basically a right triangle. So we can determine the magnitude of vector A plus B from this right triangle magnitude of a plus b square because it's the hypotenuse square is 5 square plus 7.5 uh, square which gives us for magnitude of a plus b when we take the square root 9.0 meters and as for the angle it makes with respect to the positive x-axis, alpha, uh, we can look at the tangent of this angle. The tangent of the angle is uh, this side divided by this side, 5 over 7.5. That gives us for alpha arctangent or tangent inverse of 5 divided by 7.5 which is uh, 34 degrees with the positive x axis positive x direction so that answers part a now we're going to uh, look at the vector difference a minus b so in a drawing uh, we can basically uh, consider these vectors as they are shown in this figure and uh, what we need to do is basically go from the tip of vector B to tip of vector A to find vector A minus B. Uh, so in order to find its magnitude and the direction uh, with respect to the positive x-axis we can again utilize the projections of these vectors. Um, now this vector b has a projection onto the y-axis by of 13 meters 
and this one already has a magnitude 8 13 plus 8 gives us 21 for this side of the triangle and we already have 7.5 uh, for the projection of B onto the x-axis so that is 7.5 here uh, so we can utilize this uh, right triangle Pythagorean theorem in order to find its magnitude so magnitude of a minus B square is 21 square plus 7.5 square which gives us for the magnitude of the difference vector a minus b 22 meters now uh, for the angle it makes with respect to the uh, negative y axis uh, we can see that tangent of the angle uh, theta tangent theta would be uh, this side divided by this side 7.5 divided by 21 so that makes this angle theta with respect to the negative y axis uh, arc tangent 7.5 over 21 uh, which is 20 degrees with uh, the negative y axis so what is the angle it makes with respect to the uh, positive x axis so positive x axis would be here so 180 plus 90 270 minus theta would give us the angle it makes with respect to positive x axis so we can say that 270 minus 20 250 degrees angle with the positive x axis okay so let's put this in a nice box um, All right, now we're going to uh, worry about minus a minus b. Now minus a minus b is easy to uh, calculate if we know already a plus b, because minus a minus b is minus a plus b. It's the, uh, so it's going to have the magnitude for minus a minus b, because magnitude of minus one is plus one, uh, multiplied with magnitude of a plus b we will have the same thing as the magnitude of a plus b which we have found to be 9.0 meters now the minus sign will give us an opposite direction so it will be opposite in direction uh, to a plus b vector and therefore now if this vector makes an angle uh, 34 degrees with respect to the x-axis the minus a minus b vector would be here so it would make the angle 180 plus alpha with respect to the positive x-axis so we would say that 180 uh, plus 34 which is 214 uh, uh, degrees uh, would be the angle with the positive x axis okay so we have determined the magnitude to be equal to the magnitude of a plus b and the angle changes so that it is opposing a plus b opposite in direction to a plus b and for part d of the problem uh, we're going to look at b minus a now b minus a is uh, again minus a minus b we already know what a minus b is so we have the magnitude of b minus a equal to minus 1 magnitude of minus 1 magnitude of a minus b which is the same thing as magnitude of a minus b so this would be 22 meters now 
again, since it's minus the vector of a difference vector a minus b, so this vector b minus a will be opposite in direction opposite in direction to the vector a minus b so uh, vector a minus b uh, was uh, making an angle 20 degrees with the uh, positive uh, negative y axis so this would be a vector pointing in the opposite direction so uh, the angle uh, that we would see here theta uh, of 20 degrees would be the angle now it makes with the positive y-axis instead of negative y-axis so uh, we have to subtract this from 90 to find uh, the angle with the positive x-axis so this would be making an angle 20 degrees with the positive y-axis and that will give us 90 minus 20 70 degrees with the positive x axis positive x direction on the x axis so that's what we mean by positive x axis all right so to summarize we are given two vectors eight meters uh, is the magnitude of vector a pointing in minus j hat direction 15 meters is the magnitude of vector b pointing at in a direction making 30 degrees with respect to positive y-axis in order to find a plus b with a scale drawing you have to use head to tail method you draw a plus b from the head of vector a to the tip of vector b and you can figure out the magnitude of this also using the uh, components of vector b on x and y axis and it because it belongs to this right triangle uh, we can figure out what the magnitude is and from tangent of the angle alpha we can figure out what the angle it makes with the positive x-axis is and for part c we have minus a, a minus b minus a minus b is minus a plus b so it should have the same magnitude but it would be opposite in direction so instead of making 34 degrees with the positive x-axis it will make 34 degrees with the negative x-axis so 180 plus 34 214 degrees with the positive x-axis in part b we're trying to find the difference vector a minus b uh, we we go from the tip of vector b to tip of vector a that's a minus b and uh, we can figure out the uh, length of these sides well 7.5 is the projection of b on x-axis and uh, this side will be projection of b on y-axis plus the magnitude of a so that would give us uh, uh, basically 13 plus 8 uh, 21 for this side and from the right triangle here using Pythagorean theorem we find the magnitude of a minus b and we can determine the angle theta looking at the tangent of it uh, and then once we know this angle we want to know what is the angle it makes with respect to the positive x-axis positive x-axis is here this makes 270 so 270 minus theta 20 250 with the positive x-axis going to part d uh, the same magnitude for b minus a but opposite in direction so instead of making uh, 20 degrees with negative y-axis we will make 20 degrees with positive y-axis 90 minus 20 70 degrees with the positive x-axis 